ready to roll this thing. Ooh. We ran her out of juice. We've received it. We've been messing around a little bit with it. We found out what fault codes we have. After we show you what we found in the back here, we'll show you what fault codes it was. Hopefully what fault codes what we found is causing. So this is an encoder. Reads the speed of the motor and maybe the temperature. I'm not sure where that thing is. I think that's a different wire that goes inside because there's a couple. There's one that fishes in right here. You see that? That might be the temp sensor. We've been having some codes kind of related to motor speed or motor RPM. So we unplug this and they there's two terminals out of the four that are just super corroded. Can you see that? It's an electrical cleaner. With acid indicator. Let's see if it indicates acid. Oh. Nice. <laughs> it doesn't even work. Tried to Take it, unplug it and plug it back in a bunch of times here. Give it a slap and wiggle. I'll tell you back on. Let's try that. Should we try it without the rear on the ground? All right. All right. Putting foot on accelerator. Oop, take the e-brake off. Okay. Forward. Like, is that fast or not? I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it back. Let's turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. It's still rolling. <laughs> oh, oh. reverse. reverse. <laughs> Wrong way. It's in it. neutral, but it's still spinning. That never, ne it wouldn't. I don't know if that's like good. Just because like, it's no off load. The ground, yeah, or? it has no load on it, so. But it was, it was like, and then it went. Yeah. It seemed fast, it seemed more aggressive than it should have been, I don't know. The way it's been moving at two miles an hour, not even. Maybe we'll finally be able to give these wheels and tires a test drive. A, a test drive, yeah. <gasps> Perfect! Great! Oh, it's my lovely wife. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yes! Dude. That's what it was the whole time. The whole time. I told you it was going to be something easy. I'm so, like, ugh, frazzled because I've been stressing the last day and a half. Speaking of, that's why there wasn't a Thursday video. My Thursday video was to get the scan tool. It was because of this thing. And to fix it, and it would be all good real quick. We had no idea. Who knows about electrical vehicles? Not us until now. Now we're geniuses. Elon should hire us. Here, you take this, do a bunch of test drives and everything, get a base speed, Come back, around with it. Try and mess with it yeah. so you can go faster. Okay, I'm gonna go in and um, <laughs> nail it. It's gonna be set to freaking jet for a while now. Turn that heater on and go to jet. Yeah, great. <laughs> Hopefully I don't run out of battery. I need my phone. Yeah, definitely. Good. All right, so this is the scan tool. I'm gonna get some baseline stuff and see what it looks like, and then we will be back, because it's probably gonna be somewhat boring to drive this thing around right now, but we should be able to potentially make this faster. There's a few things in here that suggest that baseline is like 200 RPMs, and that doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. All right, we're cruising. Let's go in. 24 miles an hour, that's about how fast it went before. It might be a little faster now with uh, these bigger wheels on, uh, but I mean minutely faster, you know, how a bigger wheel will make your vehicle just go faster. So, I mean, everything's fine. It's not reading forward right here, which it normally does. I don't know what that means. Um, it's also not showing me how much voltage from the battery there is, like how much, like what the power is. It's normally right there. Um, so there's still a couple things we gotta figure out. But everything seems to be working fine so far. Um, yeah, I mean, sounds good, the brakes feel right. 
the speed is back to normal. So let me uh, let me play with the scan tool real quick on the way back to the house. I wonder if I can make it go faster. You can't see it, but there's three codes. There's a severe under voltage, under voltage cutback, and an external supply out of range. I have no idea what that means. But this thing is working now, so that's cool. So I'm curious. Let's put it in neutral real quick. Torque, speed limiter, max RPMs. Let's uh let's try and bump this up a little bit and see what happens. So it was at 3,800. I'm gonna bump it up to 4,800 RPMs, and then we'll see if that changes anything. Me break it down. In forward. Here we go. Whoa. All right. Will it go faster? No. <laughs> it's still topping out at 24. faster now. It's a lot faster now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it going? <laughs> you okay? It got a little bit late yesterday. Or last night, I should say. It's just hard to videotape when it's so dark out. <laughs> it's so cool to see it moving under its own power. Go over here and we're gonna mess with some of the settings. We actually have to drive all the way to my parents' house to grab things for this so we can do another video after this video. Ready to roll this thing? Starting to snow. Are you ready to roll it? Are we going full speed? <laughs> I was gonna try, but it's too fast. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, we got the wheels tight. So we messed with some settings. It definitely struggle buses if it's not on a flat road. Yeah, but I mean, it'll do 30 now. I think it's so more that's than good. 30. More than well, it does more than 30. It just has to be a really flat road. I bet it'll hit 40. We just like found the right bit of road here. 37 miles an hour. 38. 39. No, not quite 40. I can feel it die off. No. Screw that. We ran her out of juice. Good thing we're on our way back. Oh my goodness. It's really slow. Doesn't really hold a charge. How many miles was that? Uh -huh. Not a lot. Not a lot. And Say usually ten at, miles. Yeah, at twenty-five miles or at twenty-five miles an hour, it should have a sixty-mile range. Sixty-mile range. And at thirty-five miles an hour, it has a ten-mile range. Ten to fifteen-mile range. Back to stock. Yeah, back <laughs> to stock. We're going twenty-four. So what all made it go this fast? Uh, just like that... changes in the little scan tool? Yeah. Just changing the uh, RPMs, like the maximum RPMs that you allow the motor to spin. Yeah, maybe change that back down to 5,000. That's going to be the end of this video. Uh, we learned a little bit along the way. You definitely want to get that scan tool if you're going to try to make your electric vehicle go faster. You can, I mean, golf carts, any electric truck like this, anything that has a Curtis motor controller, rent or buy the programmer. You can adjust certain settings to make it go faster or slower. We don't know a ton about this thing, and we really don't know a lot about electric vehicles, but we definitely learned some stuff. I mean, so yeah, basically the, the one thing that we were able to change to get more speed out of this was RPMs that the motor could put out that just made it go faster. Now you did see like it drains the battery really quick. We're gonna try and drop it down a little bit, probably gonna crank it back down from 6,000 RPMs to five to see what happens there. Cause we don't really need to go more than 35 miles an hour. We're just gonna, race it that's our plan and autocross is the goal here we don't need to go like 50 60 miles an hour you really only need to top out at 35 on an autocross track because it's tight and you know technical stay tuned for more videos on this thing they're coming like that's going to be 
probably the next couple of videos that we do are going to be with this thing playing in the snow with some of the toys probably since it's snowing right now thing on our list for this is lowering it and then after that we have a bunch of things that we've been buying here and there as far as accessories go to make this thing look the way we want it to we're lowering it next and it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing this. We're learning as we go with this thing. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. This is gonna be something that you wanna follow. It's gonna be fun. And we're going to race it actually next spring. I mean, yeah, it's a ways away, but what do you do? We're gonna play with it all winter long too. I mean, we're gonna go drifting. It's rear wheel drive, it's perfect, and it's low speed, so how hurt can you really get, you know? We'll see you next time when we're lowering this thing.